project and I, I'm sure that this is going to be for the benefit of Stratford and Avon and further afield. We can see exactly where we are with the cars, the charging units, the bicycles and a wonderful station connecting the main cities, the London and Birmingham, our theatre, Stratford particularly with its tourist attraction. This is a wonderful project and I'm sure is going to benefit many, many people. So I have a great pleasure still there, it's nobody stolen it. <laughs> In declaring Stratford Parkway Station officially open. This is an exciting day for Stratford. Um, the opening of the Stratford Parkway, seven months early on budget, is testament to the teamwork of the County Council, the portfolio holder, the politicians, as well as, of course, the people who were in charge of the delivery of this project. There was a huge team of people, including the people who actually worked here on the site through those awful winter days that we had zero temperatures. Um, so this is testament to what you could do in the UK to deliver truly integrated transport. We've got bicycles, we've got cars, we've got buses and of course the great trains here. This is fantastic news for Stratford and I'm sure it'll be a great success in the same way as other parkways have become a great success in Warwickshire. Thank you very much to the County Council, first of all for having the imagination to bid for this in the first place and of course then winning that bid from the Department of Transport and getting this delivered, as I said, not only on budget, but more importantly, seven months ahead of time. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Terry Phillips and I live locally uh, to, to the station here at, uh, in this new development over here called um, the Hathaways. And we've lived here just about a year. We moved up from, from Hampshire and we were delighted to find that um, uh, near to the development where we wanted to live uh, they built, built or they were going to build this, this lovely railway station and the station um, is very useful to us because uh, I, although I'm retired I still do a little bit of travelling for my former company um, and I've already used the station, it's only been open about uh, four weeks I've used the station twice to get to, to Liverpool uh, and uh, my uh, wife and I went up to Birmingham on Monday um, for a day out uh, and therefore we're already finding the station is, uh, is incredibly useful. It's within three or four minutes walking distance of the, uh, uh, of the house and I'm sure that uh, as it becomes known the local residents will, will really use it. Um, I've, uh, one of my trips to Liverpool I uh, took a, a morning train about half past seven and they're already uh, a dozen people getting onto it uh, and uh, one of the evening trains um, that I came in on uh, there was about half a dozen people got off and after about three or four weeks that's a pretty good start in, 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 in my opinion and certainly every bit as good uh, as I witnessed uh, when we lived in Hampshire and a new station was, was open there. Uh, with the interchange with the park and ride bus and the SP1 bus that uh, runs to the north or to the west, or no, the east side of, no, the west side of Stratford, I'm sorry. Um, I think that will, they will be very valuable connections and of course the car park will be popular for people travelling, hopefully from, from, from further afield. So I think it's a great development um, uh, and I'm sure it will be very successful in the fullness of time. I'm obviously very delighted to be here today uh, with all our partners, uh, the people who've made this project a reality. And uh, Stratford Hill 1 Avon Parkway is now our 148th station officially, that is, station operated by London Midlands. And uh, it's been great to see the project's been delivered ahead of time, which many, many people have, uh, have said today, but also on budget. And uh, I think the collective partnership, the real partnership, um, that has happened to make this all, all, all happen is, um, is what drove the project and, and, and made it what it is uh, today. It is, and I've said this before too, I've, I've seen many plans, many suggestions for fully integrated public transport schemes and um, 
but not many of them made it actually beyond planning stage. This one has, and it actually it has been designed in, 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 in record time, but it, it combines, it integrates all the public transport um, modes and it's, it's truly stunning. And you've seen the, uh, the result behind us. It's, uh, it's uh, not only a very functional station, but it's a nice station and a beautiful station as well. So, we're the proud operators and we're also the proud operators of, uh, of the services going to Stratford and going between Stratford and Birmingham and, and hopefully with the additional services we've put in on Saturdays mainly now but also later services on Saturdays and from December this year onwards we're going to even uh, put in even more frequent services and later services and hopefully with all that we will we'll, we'll be able to, uh, to attract many more passengers to enjoy those services and, uh, and travel between Stratford and Birmingham and vice versa. So we're delighted and we're very proud to be part of this project and uh, hopefully um, this will continue for many more years. This is a, a massive thank you to Warwickshire County Council and Trade Operating Terms and everybody that's helped us. You know, things like this, as with the bigger station, of course, is all about teamwork, but we, as we've heard, and a massive thank you to everyone that's helped us get here. So I'm now going to perform the official task of cutting the ribbon and declaring the Brompton Dock open. Yay! Okay, so this is a, a great day for not only for the station but of course for Brompton Dock. This is the first docking station we've put into a brand new station. Um, we worked in partnership with Warwickshire County Council, so it's been a team effort to get it here. And the, the, the whole point of the bike is that it connects the whole journey up for a commuter, for example, so they can pick a bike up from the dock, take it on the train at peak times, get to the other end, they can make that journey to work, evening bring it back, and when they get back here they can cycle home, pop it in the hallway, or put it in the boot of the car or take it on the bus, so it's very, very flexible. So it's part of a sort of total integrated transport solution for the station, providing cycling, train along with the buses and the cars so it's part of a total solution okay so this is the Brompton bike it's the most compact folding bike in the world and it's very easy to unfold first of all the handlebars secondly the saddle front wheel comes out and then the rear wheel and ready to go 